Great Grimsby just isn't my constituency. It's where I was born and where I've lived for the majority of my life. And um, and we, we can't be cowed by people who think it's appropriate to be aggressive and abusive. Leah Nietzsche has spoken out about the harassment she received from a friend of a neighbour, someone she says made her life and her family's life miserable. As an MP, quite a lot of my time is spent in Parliament, not in the constituency. So when your home is, um, you know, your peace at home is being invaded by somebody who thinks it's appropriate to be aggressive and abusive, uh, you're not getting it directly, but your family are, and uh, that's totally and utterly unacceptable. 49-year-old Nicholas Burroughs pleaded guilty at Grimsby Magistrates Court to using threatening, abusive or insulting words or behaviour towards the great Grimsby MP. The case has come to light at a time when the security of politicians is under the spotlight, following the fatal stabbing of Conservative MP Sir David Amis in his Essex constituency. I'm just devastated that David Amis's family have had to go through what we went through when Joe was killed. Um, and they are the people who I've been thinking about most at this time. But we do need to have some serious conversations about what safety in public life looks like. As the sister of murdered MP Joe Cox, Kim Leadbeater is one of many to speak out about the need to better protect those who represent us in Parliament. Police are also investigating threatening and abusive phone calls, emails and letters sent to Labour's deputy leader Angela Rayner. A man has been arrested. Well, it's something that's always in your mind and you're always vigilant and you are advised by the security services and by the police to make sure that you are as safe as you possibly can be. I'm happy to have debates with people, but I won't engage with people uh, who are being aggressive and I certainly won't stand for being, people being aggressive around my home. And, uh, and that's why um, we had to, to take action to get this stopped. There is clearly a balancing act to be struck between keeping MPs safe and the need for them to be visible and to meet the public. Tim Iredale, BBC Look North.